Good evening, this is Bev, Clerical Vision, uh, and another thread response, people. Um, I decided I was going to jump in on this one as well, after I saw this one launched uh, just a few days ago by Raul Serrano. The link to his channel is below, and if you haven't checked out his channel before, I encourage you to do so. He is um, one of the younger... Um, metalheads around the, the vinyl community, um, which is great that he's in uh, the old school metal and all the the, the genres and sub-genres in metal. Um, excellent stuff and he's, uh, he's, he's discovering, obviously, as he goes, um, kind of like what I think I did, even though I'm kind of older, I suppose, but the vinyl community is an invaluable resource for introducing anybody to new bands so and I think that's what's happening with quite a few people including Raul. So he's threw up a thread um, and it's called uh, Love at First Listen. I have to think there. <laughs> yeah, Love at First Listen and basically that means show some albums where you listened to it for the first time and instantly it clicked, you instantly loved it you hit play again, you know, um, you listen to it again when it hit, got to the end. Um, what are these perfect albums for you that you've just loved from the beginning? Um, so I've pulled out a few. Um, I didn't want to pull out too many because I thought I could be here forever um, if I do that. But I have pulled out a few, some kind of older from back in the day and some much more recent um as well um, that I've uh, really just got right into. Um, so, with, and some of them are CDs and some of them are vinyl. Um, some of them I grabbed the CD because um, it's just easier. Um, but anyway, plus I like to mix it up. So, um, so here is some of the albums that I kind of fell in love with pretty much right away on the first listen. Starting off with a classic from 88, um, New Jersey from Bon Jovi. I remember when this was released. Now they'd obviously released Bad Medicine in the charts before the album uh, dropped. Um, so I'd heard that first um, and then the album was released and I think what, would, what was the next song that they... Was it Born To Be My Baby? I can't remember what was the next one that came out. Um, heard that in the charts. Um, <coughs> I eventually got the album. I, I must have been for Christmas. I originally got the vinyl um, of this back in... It must have been Christmas 88 or something. Um, brilliant. Put it on and just enjoyed the whole thing and it's you know it's one of these albums that's just kind of stuck with me uh, in the memories of something that I've always enjoyed uh, pretty much like all the songs on here the only one I wasn't too fussed for was probably Love For Sale which is kind of a, a bit of a just a, a kind of joke thing I think they're messing about at the end but it's okay but you know it kind of Probably my least favourite track, um, but yeah, all the classics are on here. Lay Your Hands On Me, Bad Medicine, um, Born To Be My Baby, um, Blood On Blood's good. Um, in fact, they're all good, you know. I mean, I loved 99 In The Shade, um, but yeah, so uh, that's Bon Jovi, New Jersey. And another one from that year. Um, Fantastic. Again, I heard Superstitious, which was the single released before the album. Um, got the CD, thanks to mum and dad, uh, and probably pocket money, I can't even remember, but I got the CD back in the day, um, Out of This World by Europe, and absolutely loved the whole album. Um, just every song on here is a winner. Um, it's a solid listen uh, from start to finish and yeah I just love the whole it's it's just a nice 
pleasant classic 80s melodic rock listen. So that's Europe out of this world. Another one from back in the day, um, interestingly, um, is this album, Pyromania. I love the first listen. Oh yes. Um, now, with this album coming out in 1983, um, I didn't hear this album myself until about 1990 probably. And the reason for that is um, I first discovered Def Leppard through Hysteria. 87, the album came. I got that album. And then in early 1990, it was when the BBC shown their Def Leppard documentary um, called Rock of Ages. Um, they showed a clip uh, from Photograph off of this album and, and that documentary and that was my first time hearing anything off of Pyromania um, and when I heard this clip of Photograph I, I was like, oh that sounds amazing! You know, I just loved the whole, the chorus, the sing-along, the verse, the chorus, the solo, everything. Just, this was amazing. This was like, wow, more amazing Def Leppard. How much more amazing can they get, sort of thing. You know, this was me in 1990. Um, so it would be about then I got the album. Um, again, I had the vinyl um, first. Uh, the CD didn't come along until much later. Um, and yeah, it was just a really great listen. I mean, all the tracks, um, every song is just a feel-good, um, melodic rock masterpiece. Um, obviously, with Steve Clark writing all the stuff, there's some classic guitar pieces in here. Um, just some brilliant stuff. <coughs> um, so yeah, and... Although I don't particularly like the sound of this album now, as in, you know, I, I've, I think I've said before in videos because this one, um, it was a Moog bass, it was a drum machine, um, what else? So it was just the guitars and the vocals that were kind of done as proper instruments that were about. And I think because of the technology at the time in 83 is why... It sounds to me, just the sound, um, sounds a bit dated, um, which is why I prefer hearing the live version of these songs. Um, <coughs> from uh, tours from, you know, the 80s, obviously, with Steve and them, um, because that's when they were pre played correctly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I'm I'm going on a bit here. So yeah, Pyromania from Def Leppard is another um, Love at First Listen. Another Love at First Listen is definitely got to be this one, Heart Self-Titled from 1985. Uh, was this their first kind of um, sort of 80s pop metal or pop rock kind of sound? Um, because I know they, they were a bit of a different sound back in the, the late, in the 70s and etc. Um, but this was, I think, the first album I really heard some stuff from Heart. I know they had released some of these songs in the charts. I heard um, Never and These Dreams, that was a double A sign. I remember that hitting the charts. Um, what About Love was another ballad, big hit ballad, power ballad thing. Um, <clears throat> and I just really enjoyed these tracks and so I eventually got a hold of the CD and the whole album, fantastic. Um, it's just classic 80s um, melodic hard rock again. Fantastic stuff. Um, Shell Shock, the closing track, is absolutely fantastic. But then so is If Looks Could Kill, the opening track. Just superb stuff from heart. Yeah, another one from back in the day. This one, Scorpions, uh, Crazy World, and it is still my favourite Scorpions album. Um, obviously, um, for me, it was probably um, Stuck on the Radar by Winds of Change. Um, and then they had uh, 
Don't Believe Her, I think, was released as a single. I can't remember what else, to be honest with you, at the time. But um, when I picked up the CD of this back in the day, again, it was another just knocked the socks off again. It was just such a good listen. Um, just love the guitars, just love the melodies, Just it's just again, although this came out in 1990, it still has the classic 80s sound, you know, the 80s kind of vibes, um, it, it still has that, definitely. So the Scorpion's Crazy World. Moving on a little bit into um, this century, uh, the 21st century, this is 2006. Um, one of my favourite live albums of all time um, is Gotthard, made in Switzerland, live in Zurich. Um, this is the DVD and CD set. Now, when I uh, heard this, um, I can't even remember how I came about to discover Gotthard, but I think I remember seeing a picture of the album cover somewhere. And because I have a bit of a a fondness for cows, um, the, the cover caught my attention and then I, I was kind of like, I wonder what the band actually sounds like and I think uh, I did some digging on YouTube and everything I heard um, I was liking. Um, so I got this for Christmas one year um, and again, absolutely loved it, was blown away by how amazing this is and it's such a great band. And such a phenomenal singer in Steve Lee that half the world don't even know. And uh, it's, it's a shame because he's, he's amazing. He's up there with the best. Um, you just don't know it. That's the problem. <clears throat> but yeah, absolutely phenomenal stuff. And uh, I'll leave that one to the end because that is really up to date, that one. Um, so onto some vinyl. Here's another one. Um, I discovered Pretty Maids, and in particular this album. I found it in a charity shop when I first started getting back into vinyl and stuff. So I was going around some of the charity shops finding out what kind of stuff was there, and lo and behold, one of them had this. Um, Red Hot and Heavy. I didn't know anything about Pretty Maids at the time. Um, later discovered this was their debut album from 1984 on CBS Records and uh, so I brought this home, it was kind of a blind buy, put it on and, and really enjoyed it um, to the point where I did put it on again and thought this is a really good band. Um, again classic 80s, um, just melodic hard rock, um, the kind of pop metal kind of style. Um, yeah, so fantastic stuff. I, I really love this album uh, from Pretty Maids, their debut. Next up, uh, so the rest are now a bit more recent, um, again, back into this century. And here's another one, Eclipse, another band I stumbled across by accident on YouTube. Um, Listen to a couple of tracks of this album, Monumentum, which was released in 2017 uh, on the Frontiers label. Um, Swedish band um, Eric Martinson, uh, he's the kind of like main songwriter, producer, he's involved with loads of stuff. This is another masterclass, uh, again from start to finish. Every track is just fantastic and this is so upbeat and energetic, um, it's got a bit of the feel good factor in it. Even though not all the tracks are, are kind of, um, you know, the lyrics to all the tracks are not all sunshine and roses, there's a couple of songs, you know, um, like Black Rain and um, Hurt and Jaded. Um, you know, um, a lot of the lyrics are kind of a bit more serious or, or maybe not so happy sort of thing, but um, the, the general sound of the songs, it's just so energetic and uplifting. Um, fantastic stuff. Um, when I first heard this, I couldn't get enough of it and it was spun many times and it still gets uh, a lot of spins. Brilliant stuff. 
um, another one, again another band that I recently discovered um, through YouTube. A lot of these discoveries are from YouTube. Ambush, um, another Swedish metal band, New Wave of Traditional Heavy Metal, and Desecrator is their second release, um, but it was the first one I got and the first one I heard from them and out of all the releases so far this is still my favourite from theirs um, I absolutely adore this album um, so yeah Desecrator from Ambush and I can't remember the year it was something like 2017 or 2015 something like that um, but yeah I love every track on here another love at first listen fantastic stuff and another one, again, which is um, 2019 release, this one, um, Beast in Black, From Hell With Love. Um, yeah, this is the second album from Beast in Black, um, and it's got this, the vocalist, is it Yanis Papadopoulos? Yeah, um, fantastic vocalist, this guy. The guy in the centre here. Absolutely tremendous album and as I say this was the first I heard from Beast in Black. Um, I didn't hear their uh, debut until after this but when I got this again I was really intrigued by the sound. Um, they kind of got a distinct sound which I kind of dubbed dance metal because it was very, um, some of it was very um, modern upbeat, um, uh, like a, there was a dance vibe about the songs um, and some of the instruments that were used in the, in the songs, um, but it's full on kind of power metal, um, again uplifting stuff, it's fantastic. So yeah, Beast in Black and um, this gets many spins as well, it's just another one of these energetic, um, uplifting moments of happiness I guess you could say um, as far as I'm concerned musically really good stuff uh, second last yeah I've got one record and one CD sorry this is going on a little bit longer than I had hoped but you know me I've got to talk about everything <laughs> Blazing Stone another one I discovered again accidentally on YouTube um, I discovered them a while back um, the project of um, the Swedish guy, what's his name, Cedric Forsberg, um, he formed Blaze and Stone and they're basically a running wild tribute band. This was the debut album, Return to Port Royal, and yeah, it's very much based, the style of this music is very much um, influenced by running wild um, and the, the pirate theme. Um, and when I heard this on YouTube, I thought this is really melodic and this is very Running Wild-esque. And of course, with just getting into Running Wild, um, not that long before, uh, I really liked what I was finding on this. Um, so it took me a while to get a hold of this album actually on vinyl because um, it was released in 2014 and uh, it, it was sold out everywhere and I really wanted one. I found one on Discogs, did have to pay a little bit of money for it, but um, it was worth it to, to have a copy because it's limited to 500 and all that. Um, so I was basically listening to the album quite a lot off YouTube. Um, but again, it's fantastic. Start to finish, I love the whole album. Just epic, fast, upbeat pirate metal and stuff. And the last one um, which I would say is probably one of my most recent uh, Love at First Listens and I can honestly say it is a Love at First Listen. Um, came out December last year, Majestica. Um, what was it? A Christmas Carol. <laughs> I forgot what it was there. Majestica's A Christmas Carol. Majestica is a project of Tommy Johansson, the Sabaton guitarist, and his vocals are phenomenal. And this is a fantastic piece of work. Um, it's based on the uh, Ebenezer Scrooge 
Christmas Carol thing, um, whatever it is, and basically it's the best Christmas music I've heard since, you know, the 80s probably. It's absolutely phenomenal. Just every start to finish again, loved it. Um, so I'm looking forward to December for, for being able to play this again. Because I'm obviously only going to play that at Christmas. Otherwise it'll spoil it. That's my love at first listens. There's probably more, but obviously, as I say, this would have gone on forever. Um, yeah, so um, take care and uh, don't forget to check out Raoul's channel below and jump on the thread with your love at first listens. And I'll see you in another video. Bye just now.